What is going on, you lunatics? We're going to dig into what's going on with the Luna Classic community, but we've got a problem, Houston. We have uh, an issue that came up with tax to gas. I'm going to take you through it. It's very simple, not going to affect anything, I don't think, in a negative way. Uh, we've also got another descending channel formed on Luna Classic price, so I think that that explosive move that I've been talking to you about, I think it's getting ready to happen. You never know but it feels like we're kind of at that range and at that spot. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content. Let's kick this off. All right, crypto legend Strathcole came up with a problem here. So let's, let's re unpack this. So tax to gas is being created by Genuine Labs, and there is a significant issue that is now coming up in the community. The tax to gas, big upgrade happening over here. Strathcole in testing and looking over it underscored that there is a big problem. And the big problem is that you do not have, and it's right here, this is not appropriate. It would allow the users to pay tax for any token in any token. I am very sure that the community would not agree to have users pay tax for sending LUNK or UST in KRTC or AUTC or anything like that or other valueless tokens on Classic. You need to introduce a configurable gov parameter that lists the allowed tokens that tax can be paid in. This means there are two ways to pay tax. Like it is now, and, and it should be Luna Classic or USTC. I think that we at this point have established that those are the things that we're looking for. That's what we're trying to have burnt. It makes no sense whatsoever to try to burn garbage tokens in this process. So waiting to see what Genuine Labs has to say, of course, they're going to have to have uh, a, uh, before they do this, they're going to have to have uh, some sort of vote for deployment. So uh, at that point, that's when we're going to at least have that discussion. Now, will it happen this way? I think so. I think they'll probably make a change on this, but only after it's been brought over. And, you know, the question would be, will they try to you know, extend more and get more money out of it, which it's a fair assessment here or an estimate, but they made the mistake here, or at least it is my opinion that it is a mistake. I'm, I'm siding with Strath Strathcole on this. So we'll see how it plays out. Uh, you decide what it is that you think it should be and support whatever it ends up being. Now, uh, price performance, by the way, before we get into price uh, and charts, let's, there's an implement to uh, for an optional 25th custom seed for enhanced security. I don't understand how that would even be necessary at this point. Uh, I, I think this is just a reason to to, 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 to make a post, to be fair here. 24 seed, uh, 24 seed phrase is almost unhackable at this point. So, I, you know, I don't know what it is that, that creates this necessity. Uh, recent incidents highlight that Brute's fourth method can occasionally... They could do that with 25, the same as 24. I mean, we're really kind of parsing uh, single words here, so yeah. Uh, so anyway, and, and let's get back over here. There is this right here, the signal proposal for GL2. This is the Genuine Labs implementation of the tax to gas in its current state. This is how they're having the discussion right here. So if you were interested in having that discussion, get into Commonwealth and have that discussion with them about this. Now, for price action, as you can see right here, we've got another kind of channel uh, developing. This is another parallel flag playing out. It looks like it's moving towards the upside. The question is at this point, will it break out and confirm support in this range? This is the range we've been talking about for a long period of time. In the range, if it gets accepted, then that means that a big move up towards this uh, three zeros 11. There are exactly three places that you need to be on Telegram. Cryptonomy Updates, where you get all the daily market updates and information that you need in order to be a successful investor. Cryptonomy Finance, to get all of the news that you need to get you through this day and cryptonomy community so that you can engage with other like-minded people to talk about what is going on in the cryptocurrency market. And do not forget to follow at cryptonomy underscore fi on X for all of your up-to-date information. All right, guys, looking in on my fixed deposits, as you can see, we've completed a couple of them right now. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin. 0.012 Bitcoin right now. That's about 0.05 Bitcoin, a couple thousand dollars. 
in value at this point. What I'm going to do today, we're going to make another big deposit. I'm going to use 406 million SHIB. I'm going to stake this for nine months. Again, I do believe about nine months from now going to be the optimal time. So 71.8% APY. We're going to continue that. We're going to accept. All right, now we're locked in with 406 million SHIB, 71.8% return. Uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic yield. Uh, super excited about this one. But as you guys can see, what am I earning over here? I've got an Ethereum that I'm going to pull out pretty soon. 0.67 ETH already. By the end of this, I'm going to have earned 0.99 Ethereum. My XRP, an extra 2,313 Ether XRP. Don't forget the magnificent yields being done on the ROIs right here for the launch pool. We are getting fantastic returns. Guys, you gotta stake with Cryptonomy.finance. So guys, make sure you check out Cryptonomy.finance today. Probably going to be on tap uh, over the next couple of days. There will be some resistance at 9. That's where the, the volume node is that you can see right over here. So that volume node is going to be the next big uh, move to 9. And, and once it sticks there, if we get accepted into that range, then you're going to get another move up into 11 and then uh, 11 right here so that seems to be the next move and then again we've got this big blow off sort of range up here which i'm telling you guys we're gonna hit that level pretty soon there's just we're just waiting for some reason uh, really just some sort of reason to uh, expand into that zone and i don't think it's going to take very long and it'll happen when we least expect all right, guys, Roddy's up 15% on the day, food up a little bit on the day. You can see right here, uh, Rakoff down just a little bit on the day, uh, not having the, the greatest of days. But, I mean, these things are cyclical. We'll see what happens there. Uh, as far as station goes, uh, we, don't, we don't have any proposals or anything like that happening right now. There's no proposals actively uh, being presented. Uh, as far as volume, as far as volume goes, uh, you know, it's up a little bit, but it's still very, very down. 14.8 million in trade volume, just not that good. That's that's not a huge number. Uh, market cap, 464 billion, up a little bit, but that's not what you want to see. Uh, same thing over here with USTC. Volume up significantly, but still just not really great. Uh, 111 million market cap right there. So uh, trading at two cents, basically. Now, guys, we got to talk about it. Terra Casino, you got to go there. You got to sign up. TerraCasino.io. They're a sponsor of the channel. So is TerraPort.finance. You want me to continue to provide you this kind of information on a daily basis, then I'm going to need your support. I'm going to need you to sign up over at TerraCasino.io. TerraPort.finance for some of your trading if you're doing meme coin stuff like that. By the way, you should really have a little bit, in my opinion, of each one of these meme coins that are in this space right now because, in fact, some of these are going to do 1,000 X's or 2,000 or 3,000 or 10,000 X's. When we get into the bull run, people are going to rediscover the Luna Classic community. And at some point, the Luna Classic meme coins are going to explode in value. It will not take much. It won't take much money coming into this blockchain before these things explode. So I would recommend go to terraport.finance, download, just get yourself as many of these little meme coins as you can. And only it, you know, 10, 20, 30 dollars in each one of them would do uh, wonders for you in this bull run, in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm holding a bunch of them. As you guys might know, I'm holding a bunch of these tokens because I know that at some point they're going to explode. So you should definitely check it out. But in the meantime, if you're interested in some sports-based wagering, uh, PvP poker, you know football season is getting ready to start. And not that worldwide football stuff. American football. Good American football. Getting ready to start. The NBA is getting ready to start. So uh, for your wagering, you got to go check out TerraCasino.io. PvP poker. Uh, you've got blackjack, roulette, slots, whatever it is that you're looking for. And you can even uh, do some crypto trading as well. So uh, a lot of information here. A lot for you. Bitcoin about to hit 70000 by the way. Now for Terraport Finance, uh, your earn column, this is the one that matters the most. Of course, you can trade and you can do whatever it is that, that you're looking to trade over here that's available. And then you have your launch pad over here. Now we got our rocket tokens. Uh, there's going to be some more coming up pretty soon. Uh, make sure you always connect your wallet. And I'm not connected. I reset my computer. 
Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, I do think that we're about ready for an explosive move. I've given you a few um, uh, conversations about why I think these things are going to absolutely rip very, very soon. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content, and uh, get ready because there is something getting ready to happen. Remember, about three days from now, we're going to see the next Binance burn. And I think that that's going to start another big relief rally on Luna Classic. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.